Welcome to my channel English for All Reasons Good based on the CBSE guidelines and syllabus. Here we aim for high score through smart learning, optimum utilization of time and less stress. Today I am going to discuss question number 9 B part that is how to write a paragraph to analyze a given argument. So this question I have taken from the recent sample paper for 2021 for class 10th. I have already discussed the other three questions from the writing section that is a part of question number nine that is based on this bar graph and this is the thumbnail and I'll be giving the link in the description box. Question number eight is also uh, discussed a letter to the book heaven store again this is the thumbnail link is in the description box. Question number eight a part is also discussed that is writing a letter to the SHO of the local police station and this is the thumbnail for that. It is link is again in the description box. Now we come to question number nine B part. So it says read the following excerpt from an article that appeared in the magazine section of a local daily. So this is what the article says. The ban on single use plastic is impractical. The purpose of articles like bags and packaging is ultimately to make human life easier. Plastic articles do this well, so they shouldn't be banned. So these are the lines from the article. And based on these lines, our question is, write a paragraph to analyze the given argument. You could think about what alternative explanations might weaken the given conclusion and include rationally evidence that would strengthen or counter the given argument. So first of all, we have to understand the question. So it says that you have been given this argument which has been taken from some article and based on this argument, you have to write a paragraph. You have to analyze this argument and then you have to write a paragraph. Now what the question says that either you can think of alternative explanations that might weaken the given conclusion. So the conclusion of this statement is that plastics they should not be banned. So if we want to write against this statement that means we want to write that plastics should be banned so that means we will require few explanations or we will require some evidence some reasoning that might weaken this conclusion. So in that uh, logical reasoning, rationally means some logical reasoning, some evidence that would strengthen. Now, in what case it will strengthen? In case we choose that we will go or we will agree with the statement that plastic should not be banned. So in that case, again, we want some evidence or reasoning that would strengthen this statement or again counter the given argument. If we are writing against it, so we need something to counter this argument. So this is what is required. So what is the meaning of analyze? Analyze means to examine something methodically in detail, typically in order to explain and interpret it. It is to evaluate, scrutinize, research and prove. It is microscopic investigation. So to analyze that statement, we need reasoning. We need evidence. Even if we want to go for the statement, even then we have to write some evidence. We have to provide with some evidence and some reasoning. And if we want to go against it, again, we have to provide some reasoning or evidence. So let's go through the statement again. The ban on single-use plastic is impractical. The purpose of articles like bags and packages is ultimately to make human life easier. Plastic articles do this well, so they shouldn't be banned. So we have to write a paragraph after analyzing this statement. So let's first see what does this statement say. So first you have to think about what the statement is saying. You have to find out that and after that only you can jot down your points for the paragraph. So the statement says plastic articles should be banned. Or sorry, should not be banned. And the reason or the evidence that is provided in the statement is that these articles, they are making human life easier. So that is why on this basis, the plastic articles, they should not be banned. Now, what is asked in the question? The question says that you have to analyze this given argument. Analyze is to evaluate, scrutinize, probe and examine. And for this, 
we also need a strong reason or evidence. So when we are analyzing, we have to support our analysis with a strong reason or evidence that why we are saying this to support what we write. So this is what we have to do. So ban on the single use plastic is impractical. The purpose of articles like bags and packaging is ultimately to make human life easier. Plastic articles do this well, so they shouldn't be bad. And this is the question. Now, after this, you have to decide your side. So now we have to decide whether we are going to write about plastics should be banned or we are going to write about plastics should not be banned. So choose your side. Now, before choosing your side, just think that for which side you have more evidences or more points, more reasoning that you can provide in your paragraph. It is not that plastic should not be banned. It is not morally correct. So I should not write this and plastic should be banned. That is environment, uh, environment friendly. So I should be writing this only even if I don't have proper points. So examiner is not going to check whether you are morally correct or wrong. Examiner is going to check your points, your analysis, how you are proving your statement. So you can choose any for whichever side you have a proper reasoning and evidence. You can choose that. Now here in this case, I am choosing that plastics should be banned because I have more points for this side. So I have now chosen what I'm going to write. So jot down a few points that, that are coming in your mind that this is the reasoning that I'm going to give. So in rough, you can jot down your points. Now how to arrange this paragraph? There'll be an introduction there'll be body and then there'll be conclusion. Since it is just for five marks and 100 to 120 words, that means introduction, you have to pick the introductory line from the given statement only, but obviously that should be in your own words. You cannot pick the same words from the introductory line. In body, you will have to write two evidences, provide at least two evidences or two reasons for a five marks question. And then there'll be conclusion according to what you have chosen. So whatever you are supporting, you have to conclude according to that. Now, actually, analytical paragraphs, this is a very short question. Otherwise, analytical essays are written. And that is a very long essay. And it has this kind of format. There's an introduction, which is of three parts. Then there's body and body has three to four paragraphs and it has again divisions. Every paragraph, it has a different evidence or reason. And then there are supporting statements for that. But since it is only a five mark question, it will be only written in one paragraph. You are not to uh, divide body conclusion into different paragraphs. So just write introduction, body and conclusion. So now let's get started. So the introduction we'll be writing. First, write your statement on top. Write, give the question number. Introduction. So you are not to give this headache introduction. This is only for you to understand. And then begin your answer by writing. Answer, give the number and then you will start writing. So the given argument for not banning plastics because of its usefulness in making life uncomplicated and simpler shows the extreme selfishness of man. So here I have taken my introduction from the statement itself. The statement says that the purpose of articles like bags and packaging is ultimately to make human life easier. So therefore it should not be banned. And taking points from here, I'm writing that this given argument for not banning plastics because of, so whatever reason that they've given, so I'm writing that because of its usefulness and making life uncomplicated and simpler. So I've used these words that are different from these words. Making uh, packaging is ultimately to make human life easier. So I have changed these words, making life uncomplicated and simpler. And then I'm giving the reason it shows extreme selfishness of man. So what this statement shows, because why I'm writing this, that it shows extreme selfishness of man, because I have decided to go against this statement. So this line will make my introduction. Now, after that, we come to the body. So in body, remember, we have to give minimum two points. 
So man has abused nature since the dawn of civilization to satisfy his greed. Plastic has already created an unmanageable litter on earth. It refuses to degrade and has made land, water and air poisonous. Plastic is posing a great threat to mankind as its toxins have already entered the food chain. In contrast, a jute or a cloth bag is a good alternative and serves the same purpose and it is more sustainable also. So this is my body. So here, these words they, uh, that are in red, so obviously you cannot change the color, so you will underline the main points. So what are your main points? The points that are making your evidence, so you underline them. So man has abused nature since the dawn of civilization to satisfy his greed. So here I am making a base for my evidences. Plastic has already created an unmanageable litter on earth. So this is my first point. Already so much of plastic litter is there on earth. It refuses to degrade and has made land, water and air poisonous. So this is my second evidence that it refuses to degrade and it is making land, water and air poisonous. So related to this poisonous thing, I have a sub point that plastic is posing a great threat to mankind as its toxins have already entered the food chain. So these are my evidences that are supporting my statement that is going against the argument that is given in the question. So the question says that plastic should not be banned, but I have decided to say that plastic should be banned and these are my evidences for that. Then in contrast, a jute or cloth bag is a good alternative and serves the same purpose and it is more sustainable also. So now supporting my point when I am saying that plastic should be banned, I am again giving a reason supporting, supporting my question that plastic should be banned because jute and cloth bag they are also serving the same purpose. Now why I have only chosen this statement because in the question they have chosen this as an evidence for supporting their statement because they say that the purpose of plastic articles like bags etc is to make human life easier. So I, I am writing that even a jute and cloth bag can do it and they are more sustainable. So this is the body of the paragraph. Now we come to the conclusion. Now in conclusion, but for a carefree and leisurely life, man finds the ban on plastics impractical. As weighed against its disadvantages, its advantages are less. So plastic should be banned. So now I have concluded that man because man wants a carefree and leisurely life, doesn't want that there should be some trouble in the life or doesn't want to work, wants everything simpler. So man finds that ban on plastics, it is impractical. And as weighed against its disadvantages, its advantages are very less. So that is why plastic should be banned because its disadvantages are more. So like this, I have concluded my paragraph. So again, you underline the functional words like as weighed against. So this, this is showing contrast, but again, it is showing comparison. So you have to underline such words. These are counted in functional words. And the red ones, so these are how you are giving reasons, how you are providing evidences. So all these things, they should be taken care of when you are writing this paragraph. So this paragraph as a whole now. The given argument for not banning plastics because of its usefulness in making life uncomplicated and simpler shows the extreme selfishness of man. Man has abused nature since the dawn of civilization to satisfy his greed. Plastic has already created an unmanageable litter on earth. It refuses to degrade and has made land, water and air poisonous. Plastic is posing a great threat to mankind as its toxins have already entered the food chain. In contrast, a jute or cloth bag is a good alternative 
and serves the same purpose and it is more sustainable also. But for a carefree and leisurely life, man finds the ban on plastics impractical. As weighed against its disadvantages, its advantages are less. So plastic should be banned. And this is 123 words. That is, it is within the word limit. So this is how you have to write an analytical paragraph based on a given statement. It is not at all difficult, only you just have to read the statement carefully and decide what you want to do, whether you want to support it or you want to go against it and wisely choose your points. For body, two points, two evidences, they are more than enough. Now let's see what the marking scheme says. Here is the marking scheme. So this is for question number nine, the general division of marks. Content, it will carry three marks out of five and two marks they are for your expression. In that one mark is for grammatical accuracy for appropriate words and spellings and one mark is for cohesion that is connecting the ideas in a logical way. So that is of one mark. So three plus two. And in the content, now let's see what is required in the content. So first thing is single paragraph. So do not make a paragraph within a paragraph. The question says write a paragraph. So just write one paragraph. Then use of appropriate functional language. I've already told you. So underline the words that are showing the functional language. Uh, that is required to show comparison, contrast and emphasis. So that again, I've told you the words that are showing comparison, contrast or emphasis. So underline those. Then there should be accuracy. Accuracy, that means there should be introduction, then body and then conclusion. Now, after that, content is divided into these three things. Introductory sentence, as I've already told you. And it says stating the given assumption in the question as the introduction. So I've already done that. I've shown you how to do that and it will carry half mark. So the way we have written the introduction, we have got half mark. After that, the body, it will include arguments, rationalizing against or in favor of the assumption. So whatever you've chosen, uh, if you've chosen against us, you will provide evidence for that. If you've chosen in favor, you will provide evidence for that. Again, this body part, it will be of two marks and at least two clearly listed arguments. So again, when we were writing the body there, I told you minimum Two clearly listed arguments are required. Two reasons, two evidences. Either countering or favoring. So whatever you have chosen. This note is important that focusing or extending one particular trend, it would be considered as only one. So writing the same argument or the same evidence in different words will not make it two arguments. It will be considered as one and you will get one mark for that. And after that concluding line, that is reiterating main inference or position. So whatever you've decided, whatever you've chosen, so conclude that and that will be of half mark. So like this, you will be getting five marks if you go according to the according to the way that I have discussed it. So we have solved another question of five marks. With this, I have discussed complete writing section according to the new criteria and changes for 2020-21 class 10th English paper. So that's all for today. I hope that it was helpful. The links, I have already provided the links in the description box of the other three questions from the writing section of the sample paper. So you just go and check it and writing section is cracked today. So you will get full 10 marks for the writing section if you go the way we have discussed it here. But now before leaving, you must comment how helpful did you find this video. Don't forget to subscribe it and of course give it a thumbs up and the playlist, in playlist I've included all the videos for the 10th class that I've uploaded. So I want you to go and watch whatever you want out of that so that your revision is complete. Also follow me on Instagram. I'll be giving the link in the description box because in Instagram, on my Instagram page, I keep on writing and I keep on informing about my upcoming videos. So that's all for today. Thank you very much and I hope that you will find this video very helpful.